Well, it's time to get going, right? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Channel 72. This is Turn Dog for doing my holiday mystery. <laughs> holiday. Well, yeah, it's a holiday. Doing my Halloween mystery stream. I basically got a hold of a game a while back. It's a game I've been wanting to stream, but I've always been unsure about doing it because it's in early access. So, <clears throat> I've been kind of wary about it, and I kind of wanted to wait until it was actually fully finished. But I figured... I should do at least a Halloween run of it to show you guys it. it. It seems appropriate, fits the theme and everything, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Except for the part where it's a pain in the butt to stream, so uh, brace yourself, you're going to have to look at my desktop for a split second while I fire it up. And I am going to <clears throat> update the page real quick. So hold on for that. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Twitch channel should be up should should be updated and now you know what the game is. Let's uh let's move on over. There's the desktop. I have to have desktop view to play this. So, here we go. I will be Whoop. There we go. I will be playing Demon's Tilt. <clears throat> there you go. This is a uh, this is a one man project. It's basically a uh, it's basically a really neat pinball style video game with a few like shmup elements thrown into it and a couple other interesting things put into it. Heavy heavy encouragement of uh, nudging and which is something I'm not used to. And it's got it, it's a lot of fun. It's inspired by. Uh, the uh, Crush games for the that start out on the TurboGrafx-16, like Alien Crush and specifically Devil's Crush, and then it bears. And it, the whole idea is that the guy who made this, <laughs> he kind of was, he kind of was disappointed at the state of like video game pinball. They're not really doing anything original. Like the most up-to-date stuff you see these days is like pinball, like Zen pinball and stuff. And it's all, it's <laughs> even though they have all these fancy stuff, they try to keep it within the bounds of like, a real-life pinball table, even if they do some silly shit with it, they, you never really get a... <clears throat> be honest, you half-expected Devil's Crush? I was tempted to do Devil's Crush, but I think I want to get this. I want to do this. This is pretty good. Yeah, Genesis music. Yep, this game entirely uses the Genesis sound chip for its uh, tunes. But anyhow, let's just get into it. I'll start with a quick guide here. So there are a couple quick tips. Nudge the ball, essential for staying alive. I am still... I'm, I'm okay with learning how to nudge on a real table, but in the video games it's still wonky since you have to use the thumbstick usually. You know, one of the one of the sticks. Shoot, start, shot to start rituals. So the table has three, three levels or three tiers to it. And each one has what are called rituals. And... It's laid out on the right side of the pin, on the right side of the game, so it shows you what you're supposed to do and everything. Kind of. It kind of tells you, like, you know, what to do, but some of the things I don't really understand. Defeat Hermit for easy multipliers. Hermit is an enemy that you see on the very bottom level, the Tier 1 table. <clears throat> and uh, as you def when you defeat the Hermit, it keeps changing to different monsters and stuff. And then, let's see, Spinners and Claw are in Mystery Awards. The Spinners and the Claw are shots that are both in the, uh, on the Tier 1 table. Shoot Lilith Cup to start her transformation with, uh, that's the middle table. That's the middle tier, the uh, Tier 2. And then Light vot Votives to power Green Magic, which is the, also on the Tier 2 table, so... Let's just fire it right up, and, uh... I'll probably play most of it in EX mode, but I'll start on normal for a little bit to show you the gist, the gist of the game. I am playing with a Switch Pro Controller because I like having the analog stick in a more primary position for this kind of game, so I'm not reaching my thumb over to try to nudge. Alright. Here we go. This is still an early access, so there's so it's still got a lot of work to be done on it. But if you can see on the right side, you've got... You have the, the three things, Zodiac, Arcane, and Hermit. Each one applies to one of the tiers of tables. Zodiac applies to tier... 
three arcane to tier two, hermit to tier one, and each one of those is an objective. Right now I'm on tier two, and it says hit the Lilith right ramp, which is the uh, the little ramp on the right side that says start. Which I'm used. I seem to do a better job of backhanding. Oh, I'm in the tier three. So the tier three, you have a chimera up here, and you have to shoot the uh, the Scorpio ramp, which is the uh, that left ramp over there. It's not the easiest shot to make. Oh, I'm landing the Lilith Cup, which awakened, which awakened Lilith. There are also other things you can do on the pins, like, a lot of this is interesting because, like, it doesn't really t give you a good bit of detail about, like, all the different things on it. Ah! And, yeah, it's easy to get your butt kicked. Yeah, the snake body animation is great. The animation of, like, uh, the chimera up in the tier 3 table is fantastic in general. Alright, let's see if I can, can I get the, the Lilith ramp. Nope. And also there are little, and then like, uh, I'm not entirely sure how they spawn, I'm guessing that's what the green magic in the tips is, is that like if you hit those, the votives, which are those like targets on the left and right, upper portions, that those will cause those uh, green, green warps to spawn, and those have different effects. Yeah, and the warps take you different places depending on which ones you hit. If you hit that uh, Lilith Cup enough times, oh, if you hit the Lilith Cup enough times, it will uh, it'll eventually start a two-ball multi-ball event. And then uh, each uh, I think each tier has like a method of starting a two-ball event. I'm not entirely sure which how to get all of them. I'm just turning it down a so it doesn't bleed into the mic. So as you hit enemies and monsters and stuff, they also start throwing up bullets. Oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah, expect a little bit of sloppy play at first. Alright. I don't know exactly what causes it, but I know sometimes on your ball three it'll just send you... It'll send you right to the, uh, the top one. So if you hit the helmet in the middle part, it exposes the lion. And then every time you hit it, it just fires a bunch of bullets out. They usually just serve as obstacles. And can mess with you. Like, watch. Yeah, this one just got stuck right back in the... Yeah, it gets, got stuck right back in the cup because of the bullets blocking it. I still haven't hit the Lilith ramp. Tier 2. Alright, I'm following the cup. If I hit the cup enough times... Oh, I already mentioned that. Oh, that takes me down to this thing, which increases my bonus multiplier. Every single time it hits, that hammer hits it, it increases it. That's a part- Ah! <laughs> Reminds me of like a Castlevania song. I can see that. I am garbage. Alright. We'll play again. Okay, so for some reason... So they, they have a visibility trail, like a ball trail thing, but it seems to always break. And I really like the, the ball trail on this, so... I'll probably do one more game after this on the uh, the normal one, and then I'll switch over to the EX mode, which add, which is basically the same tale but adds a few more features. There we go. Got the tier two ritual started. So now this now it says to destroy soul demons, which are those things that are circling. So, I got a little warp 
in the middle, so the ball can, go can safely go straight down the middle for a little bit. There. Yeah, I'll just let it sink in there. And that, yep. Yep, that, that warp will send it right back to the uh, tier 2. Second tier table. So the way the bullets work is that there'll be one like there'll be one or two yellow or gold colored bullets, and if you hit that, they all turn into coins. All the bullets turn on the screen turn into coins. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's easy to lose track of where the ramps are in this because they're just these faint wire ramps that show up. There we go, get them. Uh. Also, interesting of note is that on the bottom left corner is a uh, is an actual like they have a little visible tilt bob, so you can see uh, with like a with like a measurement of like how close you are to actually triggering a tilt on the game. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's only the one board. But, uh, but it, it is really good and has some really interesting mechanics to it. But if you play the EX mode, it adds, like, bonus tables. Like, bonus mode boards that, like, have, like, boss fights, and one of them has a bowling game that's... has a bo bowling-style pinball game that's similar to a real-life table called uh, Strikes and Spares. Which is interesting. I just discovered that one, actually, just yesterday when I was testing this game out. I'm not doing a good job showing it off quite yet because I'm just dying a lot. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> that was awful. What is messaging me? Oh. <laughs> the, the stream bot is messaging me for some reason. And it, and it went off on my phone. Alright, got the ritual for the tier 3, which is destroy uh, Matryoshka bells, which are those four things that the snakes spewed out. So now the, uh, the ramp's lit again to start ri the ritual. And now the new one is uh, hit the tier 3 kickers, so you gotta hit those, uh, you gotta hit those target uh, kickers on the side that knock them all back. <laughs> Okay, we got the ritual start on the tier one as well. All right, the ritual on tier two, I have to hit the pot bumpers on the uh, the far left side. It's kind of tricky to get if you're not lined up for the shot. And it's a much easier shot to backhand to uh, attempt. Oh come on! You just started shooting the moment I, I had the shot lined up. destroyed the, uh, I killed the hermit. Yeah. The, uh, the claw is lit for a super jackpot. Ah! <laughs> I tried to shoot for it and it failed miserably. Ooh, that's rough. Once again. I don't know why it, why it glitches out like that for the, uh... Why it glitches out like that for the, uh... For the ball trail thing. Maybe it's a new thing the guy added in. Hasn't quite been properly drawn a shot yet. I gotta figure out the timing for when that feeds out the ring, because it's a dangerous... The ball comes out at a dangerous angle that usually knocks it away out of the tier 3 table. Oh, that was a good tap. Oh, it knocks the... Nope. 
gonna nudge that thing. What do I have to do down here at the bottom? I did straight. Four demons. That's probably those things. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Gotta destroy soul demons here. They're the same guys! They're just maybe they're different colored. that ritual. Now I'm back up here. There we go. We're gonna have to start that ritual up, and now I'm back down here. I am to actually uh, completing the basket. I gotta hit the kickers. Yeah. Usually it's better to just hit like some of like the fast ramps. Well, I'm not quite there with the basket. I think on this one, destroying the. Actually, defeating the lion will uh, start a multi ball. Ooh. Okay. Still not there for the Lilith shot. Oh no, down we go. Stay in control. Not quite there for the, uh, not quite there for the multi-ball. Oh, Alright, so I got the, I got the ritual complete up in tier 3, so let's... Well, either try to destroy, either try to defeat the lion or, uh, start the ritual. This one. Ah! Should have nudged. Should have nudged. <laughs> All right. So in the bottom tier, I got destroyed blood bats. Is the next one. So those are those one-eyed bats that are floating around near the top of it. And let's see. For the tier three, I have to actually start a new one. Yeah, and this one, I have to get myself up to the. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that. Oh no! So now we got skeletons instead of the. Fortune favors the brave. Super I'll take that. Points! Oh, that was scary. Okay, calm down. Yep. <laughs> oh, darn it, Pip. That L is so hard to see. I got another skeleton down. Oh, oh. I, want, I want the game to come down and let me get to the top. Nope! <laughs> you can put gosh words on the screen right now. And I can see it. I'm 
guessing if you don't have any rituals started on the tier 3 table, that will just not kick you to the tier 3 on the third ball. But it's just a theory. I want to hit the, the lion. But I'll shoot in there. All the bullets. Alright, where am I? I still need to try to hit the top bombs. Up, back over here. Okay, I think I have to hit the line. Oh, jeez! Still gotta learn how to nudge to avoid just getting drained on that on that ramp shot. Nope! Alright! This game is pretty rad. Alright. So that was just the, that was just the, uh, the regular, the standard mode. I'm gonna spend most of, I'm gonna spend pretty much the rest of the stream in the EX mode now. So, extra rules and bonus subtables good for experienced players. Well, it's just gr good for anyone because because it's got some really, really great... It's just got some really great extra modes and stuff that that just kind of flesh out the game, make it better. Don't ask me how I start the bonus tables, because I don't know the criteria for starting them, but they are cool. Yeah, as you now see the, uh, the the layout on the tier one table is closer to that of like a, like a regular pick with the proper inlays and outlays and stuff. That's like the one difference. That's like the biggest difference in terms of like the table's actual appearance. The other big difference is that this adds bonus bonus mode tables, which are awesome. But that goes without saying. Tier three, the tier three table is fantastic, but the flippers are so far apart that you lose your that you lose your uh, tier three session very quickly. Like right now, I think if I hit the snake, I'll go into one of the bonus tables. Oh, and I missed it. All right, get in the basket. Okay. So in order to beat the lane, I'm guessing you had to hit the kickers there. That's why they're highlighted. There's a trick... <laughs> there was a trick to nudging that before. That I seemed to have down, but now I lost it. There was a trick to nudging to get out of that snake ramp. But now I don't remember how to do it. up on the tier 3 one. Alright, what I got? I have to hit the pop bumpers on the tier 2. There we go. See if I can get back up there. Nope, there's a Matryoshka doll blocking the way. There we go. The game also has this sort of, like, this chain thing that I think gives you, like, a few score boosts for, like, doing, like, for hitting targets in rapid succession, and that's what the thing on the top right is. Oh. Whoa! Ah, wrong flipper. <laughs> the voice saying devout sounds like the robot from Nintendo Land. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm not paying attention because I'm looking at chat. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll take the boss save. I'll deal with it. I noticed that a lot of my a lot of my pinball streams in general wind up with Sega Genesis sound. Okay, so so the thing on the tier 2 right now is that I don't get the ritual on the tier 2. It says spend patchy balls. Well, apparently I successfully did it, but I don't know how to, what, what they mean by patchy balls and how to acquire them, and, and then how to spend them. I wanna shoot them. Oh my gosh! I lost track of the ball in that net of bullets. Yep, because arcades use a variant chip. They use a lot of uh, a lot of the Yamaha sound chips, the FM sound chips that Yamaha made like, at those times. Like Marble Madness. Now that's a beautiful soundtrack. Play the Genesis version for maximum soundtrack. I think our uh, I think our Blue Man knows quite a bit about that. Sometimes you can bounce off that like little spiky ball on the tier three. Sounds cute. Okay. Nice shot. Right up into the basket. Okay, so I landed in the bonus table. I don't know how to how I did it. I mean I know what shot needs to be made to do it, but I don't know what qualifies the bonus table. So this is the bail table, which is kinda like a boss fight. What's funny is that, like, uh, almost every single time I played on this table, I, like, consistently beat the boss. And then at some point, I just, like, cannot even come close. So, the, uh... So, like, the, uh, the circle, the marked shots, those are ones you want to hit to. I think that advances you towards a ball block. Oh! Or multi-ball. But the idea on that table is to still hit the, uh, still hit bail in the middle. <laughs> but those bonus tables are really cool. Especially the bail one. I think the bail one's the, my favorite. Still have to hit the right ramp to start a new mode. There we go. I think now I have to hit the left ramp a whole bunch. Yeah. Should should be easy. Because if it, with a bit of fortunate, oh my gosh. Yeah, you can you can actually like. You can nudge the crap out of this thing before it even gives you a warning. Yeah, Pokemon Pinball had bonus areas, and actually the bail, the bail table reminds me of Pokemon Pinball. Alright, play again. I'm gonna have to, I had to do the pause thing just so I get the ball trails, because I like the ball trails. Must be a glitch. Oh, that's right, there's a, I just discovered today that there's, there's a, four different table themes. And I think I'll just set it to random and see what we get. I do like the uh, the default one the most so far. But I think the second one's really good, too. They get the basket. I need to get some multi-ball on this. Oh, nice! So that is a ball lock there by the uh, by the scorpion, the, uh, the, the, the the that that thing that I keep bouncing against. 
but you have to uh, qualify it. Lord knows. I have no clue how to qualify it. I'll be uh, most excited to do another stream of this once this game officially comes out and leaves early access. That was very fortunate. Stay in there! <laughs> Let's see if we can get that again. Good! Alright. That ritual's complete. Oh, don't kill me! Oh, wow! What a fortunate ramp shot. I'm back up here. And in the basket. Up and I got in the bail room again. <laughs> so I also noticed that the uh, the target right in the middle where Bale's head shows up uh, activates. Uh, Activates uh, uh, kickbacks for the outlaws, so that's actually really handy to set up. I don't know, I don't remember like how I do to activate it, but uh, you'll see on that that far right shot it just blinks. There's a uh... no. There's a little switch for a uh, for this like axe that just swings across and damages Bale. Why is this the ballroom all the rooms have ball in them? <laughs> Bale gets special treatment. Man, imagine if I get the bowling room. I do not know I do not know how you qualify the bowling room, but I but I managed to get it just randomly earlier today. Oh, I should have nudged the other way. <laughs> Who's Bill? Blylel. <laughs> there you go. Spend patchy balls. I don't know. I do not know what patchy balls are or how you're supposed to get them, but they want me to spend them. Ball save, fine. All I know is that uh, there's a counter, apparently. There's a counter in the tier 2 table, you see it on the, like, sort of like the right side there. And that apparently is how many patchy balls you have. Oh! I don't know how you're supposed to spend. Okay, I'm back up here. And I'm not. And I am. I still have to hit those kickers to defeat the lion. And apparently I'm spending... Apparently I've spent some. On s somehow. And I did it. I don't know how. 
I don't know what I did to cause that to happen. Oh no, not back down here. Just, just give me a bunch of multiplier. I've got the skeletons to deal with. Nope. Just, just take the warp. I want to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> With nudge control, it's not too bad. The outlines aren't too bad. <laughs> the uh, the middle is really dangerous on this one. Alright. For some reason, I always have to do that with the visibility trail, if I want it at least. If I want the ball trail to show up. And this is a game that really works well with the ball trail. Oh, cute. That's not so much. Fine, give me the warp. It'd probably be cool to defeat all the monsters on tier 1 table, but it's always like scary since it's right there where your game ends. I mean, that's like the one thing I'm comfortable nudging right now is... Is the, is the uh, nudging away from the outlines on the tier 1. Alright, gotta hit the pop hoppers for Arcane. And I'm going back down. That Hermit's got me almost done. Shoot right back up into tier two. I'll take it. No, no, I want to get higher than that. That's more like What does the skeleton keychain do? Uh, I don't know, actually. You're referring to that that dangly thing on the top right of the uh, tier one table. I really don't know. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of little things in this that I'm not really sure what they do. No. Oh, that was that was close, but I didn't react. <laughs> I got I saved it from the outline. I just got too distracted by successfully saving it from the outline. I 
I can also look there like they're like, they're like these slots. These slots on the ground. On the bottom. Not on the bottom, but like, you know. I guess on the floor of uh, the tier one table, and then there's like these dice on the floor of the tier three table, and like I really don't know what the deal is with those either. There's a lot of mystery going on. Yeah, that one, that one, the nudge worked the way I wanted it to. Oh, down we go. Oh, I could have saved it. Well, cool, we defeated all the skeletons. No more skeletons now, it's... Crazy tentacle monster. There we go. That ritual's done. This one's the spent patchy balls one, which I still am not 100% confident in what to do. Because we gotta see whatever the heck causes you to cash in on those great things. And bonus room! Neat. Let's see if, let's see if, let's see if I can get any farther on this. I want to at least see if I can get the, uh, the pendulum axe. Nope! I'm going nowhere. Oh, what? I got a save? Well, that was nice of the game. Oh! Jeez. Throwing bullets at me. Slurp. Down we go. Up we go. I think the squid monster is the last of the, uh, of, like, the monsters that you fight before you can, uh, unlock the, uh, the multi-ball, the, uh, the two-ball mode for, for the, the tier one playfield, at least. Nope! Good, ball save. Okay, apparently I spent four patchy balls and I don't know how I did. I'll take that. I'll take that. That money. You don't want to blindly shoot into the bullets. There we go. Goes the all ball. <laughs> oh shucks. Well, that was cool for a few seconds. The multi ball music is great too. Jeez. Every time you hit the enemies down here, that middle portion turns into a spin disc. 
just and that can throw the ball any which way. <laughs> just like a real spin disc. <laughs> oh, that's it. The top score, the absolute top score in EX mode right now is 2 billion points. My best is not even 100 million. Alright, let's, uh, let's do random music and see how that goes. So that's the, that's like the theme we were using. And there's this one. And I'm sure they all have like, they, they all have like good progression and stuff like that, so. It'll probably stick to this one for this one. <laughs> for this session, and then we'll probably get some random choices. Timing on that, also. I'd like to also defeat the, uh, the lion and, uh, and complete the, the Lilith process or whatever, the Lilith basket shot. To start multi ball there, too. I'm always <laughs> every shot scares me on the tier one thing. That's why I'll just take that warp. Yeah, this one's very kissable. Oh ah. Where are the other boards like? Uh, uh, this is the one. Oh, it changes it every single ball. Well, that's cool. So, well, I once again wind up in the on the uh, the bale board. Ball bale, the ball board. There are three subboards. There's this one, and then there's another one at the bottom called the uh, the the Cycrox, I think. Or like Crocolops or something like that. It's a pun on like Crocodile and Cyclops. Oh, that was a timely. Uh... That was a very timely ball save. Or not ball save. Cyclops wearing Crocs. Something like that. If I can hit that, uh... If I can hit that far shot for that pedal over that... There we go. Now we get an axe. Oh! Oh! That was probably the best Veil run yet. At least tonight. So yeah, the tier one one is has got like this like these like these like crocodiles that you have to like take out as they poke through various crates. And then the, the middle tier bonus table is a bowling themed one. Where basically like it'll plunge a ball to uh, one of the to I think the uh, plunge a ball to one of, one of the flippers. And you gotta hit the ball. Hit the ball once and then the ball swings down and the idea is that you've gotta try to like hit the hit the bowling pins. I, I did absolutely terrible when I 
played it. But it's basically a... There's actually a real pinball table called uh, Strikes and Spares. That's the exact same thing. Part of me wants to do a stream of that, but it would be really boring. Because <laughs> you're just going to watch a very one-dimensional game for like an hour or two, and that's no fun. There's no really novelty behind it besides the fact that you're playing bowling on a pinball table. Ouch. That slingshot. Now that is the outlane set I'm used to in the pinball games. And now we're on the, uh, the standard mode for this. There's an arrow on that button. Oh no! All the way down we go. Jeez! <laughs> that was nuts. Like just like general table music. This sounds more like it should be like a like a fight. Team. Okay, it's picking up. Man. Bounce. <laughs> this also sounds like it should be a boss fight, but I'm sure it mellows out. It'd be nice to show you a bonus room that isn't just the just the uh, the tier three one. But I don't know how to get the uh, the so-called bonus ticket that you use to cash in on on the, the bonus. Room. Maybe there's some demon still expert hiding in hiding in the crowd of viewers. The 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 massive crowd. No, I'll just die. Oh, that 
that's rough. Stellar AAA Pro Pinball Action. Stay up in the bumpers. Perfect. I'll take the basket. Best in the world at fall? Oh, that's a... I don't even know. I don't pay attention to that stuff, really. Which is weird, since I'm such a fan of pinball, I don't really pay attention to Like, who's the best player ever? I know... I, I know the name of one of the best players, but... There's a, uh, there's a man by the name of uh, Bowen Karens, who's regarded as... one of the top... one of the top... Pinball players, but right now he actually, uh, right now he actually works for Spooky Pinball in Wisconsin, and I think he works. I don't know exactly what part of the what part of the process he's on, but I know he uh, he did some work on uh, Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle, which is a fantastic pinball team. I'm sure he had a lot of input on like the like play testing and everything. Play Smash all the time, couldn't give a heck about the competitive side. I think I like know like two names on the Smash side. And then there's there, there's some other stuff, but that's getting into really weird shit. It's like talking about who's your favorite speedrunner. Hey, we got to a different bonus room. Don't ask me how. So this is the the, the crocodile one, or the side croc, or croc clops. Ooh! Stop shooting at me! Oh, those are oh, those are spin discs. The game should really stop putting spin discs on its tables. No! It's what? <laughs> Especially when it puts a giant spin disc right in the middle. They were Japanese and they played Mario 64 all the time. Rip. Uh, pancake. The pancake guy, that's the only runner I can think of. But he's not even a runner! He just programs tool assisted stuff and knows more about Super Mario 64 than I think even pro programmers do. Everyone knows him because of the meme status of his uh, Hazy Maze Cave video. That's where we all found out about him. The one guy who plays Gold Knight shit talks himself the whole time. Doesn't he like spend an entire time like running like a level and he just. The entire video is just him ranting about how. Uh, how stupid speedrunning is. <laughs> that guy was awesome. 
that one video I saw of him. I once I'm watching a bunch of videos just about speedrunning in general. Goose? Goose Howard, that's his name. Please don't actually believe that. Goose Howard's the guy who jumped out of the window in the, the Terry reveal trailer for Smash. See, now that I'm not talking about what I'm trying to do in this game, I'm playing okay. That'll, that'll all come crashing down soon enough. There you go. Get a little to the left ramp. Stop shooting at me! I got that, I bet I can't hit the, the right ramp to start a new ritual. Oh, hit the spikes! I can do that, if I don't drain. No! German guy who was memorable because it looked like a cross between Dude and Jimmy. Man. Why do we even do like a manual plunger when it just gives you a teleporter anyway? I mean, I'm satisfied I'm having a plunger, but why have it be a manual pullback one? Just give us an auto, auto plunge button. Back in baby jail, baby jail, and we're out of it. That's right, I have the spikes. All I want to do is hit that, hit that last kicker. I'm getting there. I want multiple. Oh, oh come on. No. on that one. Oh, that was a secret passage. Oh, oh, bonus room. <laughs> visualize the goal. Points! I mean, it needs to visualize points. Luckily, the game does that for you. Shows points right up on the screen. No! 
nope, nope, don't kill me right now. Anything but death right now. I want to hit that punch. I also want to not die. Oh, come on! <laughs> How did I not have a kickback? A pinball game with tabletop simulators physics? <laughs> Don't actually make that. <laughs> Bonus points, you have to manually flick the flipper. Ultra jackpot, shoot the lion. I think that starts multi -ball. At least I want to say it does. Oh no! Oh, oh! Completed that, so now I got multi -ball. For sure. That's built like a giant pinball tail. That'd be fun. Mario Kart was allowed to have a pinball table track. We need more of that. So that's my second best score on this. Number one on the leaderboard, can I achieve number zero? <laughs> can only try. But that's only local scores. But we can pretend. I'm, I, I am the best and worst Demon's Tilt. <laughs> yeah, just take the, just take the save. So close to completing uh, all the rituals on the top table, or not on the top, but on tier two, would have been neat to see what happens when you get all of them. Whatever, I'll keep going up. Every person who plays games coincidentally, gets your dog. it's amazing. It's such a common, such a common username.
to throw the needle for bullets. I'm not that good. Multiplier metal. There's gotta be a trick to the multiplier metals. Nice thing about the ball lock. Oh, nice. The nice thing about the ball lock is that actually like this is basically like having an additional ball. For, uh, I know what you uh, I know what you think I mean. What I mean is that like when you drain, it actually kicks that out of the lock unless you use it. So it's like having a second ball when you lose your first one. Or you can start multi ball. Looks like I had an Adaball thing going. So now we're really wrecking them. Oh man, this is great. I lost one of them. Oh, got one lock. I might kill him on this one. Oh man! <laughs> I just lost. Yeah, I just lost so much. Oh man, I gotta be so careful. Oh, I can't. 
can't shoot him properly. I had to I think I had to go for the jackpot. Did it! Oh, I gotta collect the ultra jackpot. Woo! Nice score! <laughs> Look at that bonus! I hope you saw that. It was a very important bonus number. That was beautiful. That's one thing I really like is that like it gives the whole fantasy element that I loved about uh, Devil's Crush, and it adds like a few of like the really the things that make a uh, real pinball so exciting. Like when things finally click, when things start clicking, and like the game goes all sorts of crazy. Nope! Down we go! That was ball one! <laughs> wow! Now, hopefully my next two balls aren't duds. But... It's the way pinball works, right guys? Yeah, there's a skill shot, but I've never pulled it. I've never actually landed it. Oh, the ball lock is open. I should actually try to shoot for it. I've never gotten the Scorpio multi ball, so that'd be really neat to do. But I am able to beat up on the line real bad. And maybe get the ultra jackpot from killing that guy. Nope! Oh, nice shots, nice shots. Spend patchy, but I, I don't know how to! Teach me your ways, how do I spend patchy balls? Oh, come on, 
give me that ramp shot. I'll take those multiplayer points. Number zero, baby! Green match me is catching those. Oh! Okay, so I have to land in the damn cup to, uh, to do that. Oh! So I have to land in the cup to cash in Apache balls. Look at that bonus. 100 million points, baby. I'm guessing the meter is the uh, the counter on the right side of the uh, the priestess. Oh, you get to see bowling. Bowling, guys. <laughs> I'm terrible at this, so expect gutter balls like crazy. <laughs> nice. Pathetic. <laughs> One! But yeah, there's a real game called Strikes and Spares that basically just like this. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, come on! I don't I don't think they do a full ten frames, but I'm not sure. Oh my! Can I cradle it? Oh, I can cradle it. That <laughs> that changes everything. What the heck? I thought you couldn't cradle it. Oh! I love I love the groovy the groovy music. <laughs> oh. Okay. Final frame. Last chance. Hey! Look at that! Alright, we get one more go on the final frame. Look at that! Beautiful! Oh, one more go. That's right. Yeah, I'm the I'm terrible at real life bowling. Oh! Oh, okay. There's a spare. <laughs> Bowl score, 100. That's better than I normally do in bowling. <laughs> now you got to see all three of the main... Uh, now you got to see all three of the bonus tables. They should have like, like special like secret wizard mode tables or something like that. I think there is a wizard. I think there are wizard modes, but there's a lot. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot to do to actually get that far.
Okay, if you're fortunate enough to get a good... To get the travel just right on the left ramp, you can keep backhanding it. Spending patchy balls. I guess she starts casting, the priestess casts spells every time that. Every time you sink the basket and uh, it starts doing that rainbow, that trippy rainbow effect. Good to know. Tears in order to, uh, oh. I think I have to complete all three tiers actually to uh, get, the, uh, to get something to happen. I think that might be what causes, what starts wizard mode. Nice! Gosh, I have, to, I have to figure out how to qualify the lock again. Yeah, just get in there. Oh yeah, go right in the basement. Back into the ballroom. <laughs> yeah, I thought I meant. Yeah, I thought I meant find three secret passages too. But I guess there's only one, one shot marked as that's marked as secret passage. So you have to hit it three times. Well, I don't know if we're gonna have a bail run quite as awesome as the, the last one. <laughs> I say that as I get like a pity ball save. Yeah, 
that wasn't anywhere near as good. Am I getting now? All I know is that I'm getting big points from these from this chain. And from these from these hammer strikes. Thanks for that awful kick out. Oh no, down we go! <laughs> oh, look at that final score! Oh! <laughs> More than doubled my last high score. Yes, I did. Holy cow. Where does it say my devotion is? Wow. Where do I show up on that? 75. 75th. Right above fish. All right. <laughs> that was a good run. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm gonna get a repeat of that, but that was a. Uh, There's a lot of cool things happening. A good show off of the game. At least the game in its current state. Oh, jeez. I should look up how I start the ball lock in the tier 3 table. That would be really nice. Just watch as it turns out to be something dumb like it has to rely on like a lucky roll of those dice. And, and I don't even know how, how those get rolled. I didn't have to nudge it. Oh well. <laughs> this is fun with the random music because I'm enjoying all the music so far. This theme kind of reminds me of. Uh, I know the, uh, the first one reminds, reminds a lot of people of Castlevania. This reminds me of a uh, Castlevania Bloodlines game. I also really like the way the uh, I like the way the ball rockets 
Well, I like the ramp's racking the ball around. Kind of makes it feel even more satisfying to shoot a ramp. See, now I got the ball lock. But how did I... Uh, how did I qualify the uh, the switch that opened the ball lock in the first place? Because it doesn't that, that switch isn't there. Like there's a switch in that top orbit that's supposed to come on to start the ball lock, but I don't know when that happens or how to make it happen. So I'm guessing in order to actually get the uh, the multi ball event from uh, the priestess, you have to actually. Keep spending, keep spending uh, patchy, uh, patchy balls or whatever you want. to keep making your cast spells until you reach a certain threshold. Or hangs over there, it almost guaranteed it falls out in the outlane unless you nudge it, but if you don't nudge it right, that happens. What do we got for up here? I had to hit the bumpers. See the, the the orbit shot to uh, light the lock is today. To open the ball lock. It'd be cool to get back up there. No, no, I'm going the wrong way. Cool bonus. <laughs> All right, later, Pib. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm glad you're able to see a really awesome performance. Got to see like a good chunk of what the game's all about. Well, that was a quick one.
Yeah, that, that 200 million point game is definitely going to be the best one of the night. But I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here for another 20 minutes, so... of the Outlane strikes again. so much to take in visually in this game you just can't get over all the details. There is a lot going on all at once. It, it really is tricky to keep track. I keep forgetting about the visibility via the, the ball trails. Which is odd. The ball trails actually make it easier to track where the ball is. <laughs> because that way you just kind of see like when the ball's moving fast you can tell that like, oh, there it is. It really isn't. It really does remind me a lot of uh, a lot of Devil's Crush. If like Devil's Crush had like a few more layers to it, and had some like more modern pinball stuff added. So it really is like if a Devil's Crush was made today with modern pinball conventions, this is what it would be like. And also like all the little details, like the fact that the table itself is like this big castle. Is really neat. Very, very well designed. Very neat. And you can also customize just how like overwhelming the visuals are. Most of this is how it looks by, by default, but you can adjust certain things. Like, uh, for instance, the multi ball. You'll see it like it, the camera pans back really far. Normally, the camera doesn't like almost doesn't pan at all. It only tracks like whatever ball is the lowest. But I'm like, I want to at least have a better view of the, like, both balls. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> and then there's, like, the shmup elements that can really mess with your game. Like when you're trying to recover and... When you're trying to recover and all of a sudden a bullet knocks your ball. <laughs> in a bad spot. Really glad I got... Really glad I got to see... to show the, uh... the part with, uh, the bail. The part with the, uh, the bail bonus room. And it's at least in its full in its full completion. So, 
like, and then you got to see the, all the chaos with them. Oh my gosh, you got to see all the chaos with the multi ball and stuff. Can you kill Cloak Thanos or the Hermit? <laughs> yes, you can, I'm just being terrible. When you kill him, then a bunch of. When you kill him, a bunch of skeletons. A bunch of skeleton knights take his place. And then after that, some sort of tentacle monster shows up. Well, I'm doing some good stuff up on the uh, up on the tier three table. I, the moment I start saying that, I lose the ball falls out of it. I do like that the, uh, the like the main table objectives are always on display on the right side of the screen, though. the nudges to yank the ball into the hermit. It was funny because, like, for a while, I was like wondering, why do I have such a hard time with this level? And that's when, and that's when I saw that they have all those spin discs that start firing up as you start progressing. Look at that! How am I supposed to handle that? Oh no! Get, no, you know you're supposed to get in the lock. Good. It's like a little insurance. Oh, another lot. Ooh, multi start. No! <laughs> I thought I had something going. Crocklops, that's the name of these guys. I knew it was something Cyclops and Croc related. But I got some cool looking stuff happening though, otherwise. Ball launch, ball launch. 
hot bumpers up on the tier 2. Or I'll just get right up on the tier 3. Nope. Get in the basket! There we go, see? Hermit Man is defeated. And now he's replaced with Skeleton Knights. Look, oh, yeah, let's just escape to the uh, Tier 2. And go right back down. Oh, I managed to kill all the Skeletons. This might be worth it. Oh, that was close. Nope! Nope! Oh! <laughs> I panicked. I thought I could nudge it well. <laughs> Ready to play... <laughs> Ready for Pip to play Louie's House 3 tomorrow or Thursday. I wouldn't mind warping the Friday myself. It'll be exciting, but, uh... Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it to the Thursday stream, because... My... Kate and I are gonna be... Over at my parents' for dinner. Then the kind of... Dodge trick-or-treaters. Because... It's one of those things where... I wouldn't mind doing trick or treat, but the problem, but the problem is like people don't trick or treat in our neighborhood, but the people, but like you know, there are still just like one or two stragglers, so you at least have to have something. For them. It's not as fun as having like you know, actually just being able to stay at the door and stuff, but. I kind of miss it. I have to admit, I kind of miss when uh, trick or treating was uh, just held on like a nearby weekend in the afternoon, as opposed to like you know at night on Halloween. Because it always, because you know that always falls on a weekday. I'm just like, don't want to have to like sit here and worry about kids when I just want to be comfy in my house. And, to go to bed or something. Getting old, man. Getting all these cheetos, but I don't know. Ah! Heads or tails about what to do. Where your movements, the big scores on for trick or treating. Oh yeah, that sounds fun. Being able to do Portuguese. I just realized that I didn't actually. Uh, they didn't actually. Uh, Record this to my hard drive, so I'm gonna have to just download the Twitch stream, which should be in good quality. I I upped the bitrate on this quite a bit. Oh, I'm sure to be fancy. 
see if I can start a ritual on the tier 1. Yeah, let's just escape. They actually held out a jack-o'-lantern and wore it over your head and sat out as a scarecrow at the candy bowl. Oh, you did that thing? I hope you have like a. You gotta have like a sign that says like, like take like take only one, <laughs> and then the moment someone reach like tries to grab more than one, immediately go after them or something. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. You waited for the punk kid that thought they could get away with extra candy. I shouldn't have tried to hit it there. Shouldn't there weren't the main people that came by the house. <laughs> yeah. You might be able to pull off that gag more effectively in your new place. This is definitely the last run of the night. I was very scared of like it draining the moment I said that. I still have a ball save active in case that happens, but not for long. We got Squid Monster now. We can get past this, we can defeat the squid monster, or... I keep saying squid monster, it's just... A TENTACLE MONSTER, No! <laughs> Was that a tentacle ball monster? Um, it's like these three creatures, and then once you defeat the tentacle monster, you get a two-ball multi-ball. But yeah, look at that, 211 million point score. That was a heck of a run. And it was... it was amazing the whole way. <laughs> the world may never know. 
I actually did get it earlier in the stream, so be able to look, go back and see it if you have missed it. But yeah, that is that is Demon's Tilt, and uh, yeah, I wanted to make this a surprise. Mostly because I wasn't all eager to stream it since it was in early access, but even even so, in its current state, it's actually in really good it's in really good shape, and it's it's a fantastic game. And if you get if if you like Devil's Crush or Alien Crush, you know, or those you know games like in that style, this game is well worth your money, and it is. It is absolutely fantastic and a blast to play. <clears throat> like Orange Crush, does that count? It might. Very tempted to make me grab an orange sodi, but <laughs> but it's it, it'll be close for my to my bedtime. I don't need to inject that much sugar into my veins. But yes, Demon's Tilt. If you like the if you like the Turbo Graphics Crush games. Or uh, the Sega Genesis Dragon's Fury, which is... I think it's Dragon's Fury, which is the Sega Genesis port of Devil's Crush. Check this game out. It's really good. I, I, I will give it a uh, must-buy recommendation once this comes out of early access, but right now it's still a solid purchase, so... If you, if you like pinball, if you like the Crush games, this is, this is a no-brainer. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everyone. Glad you tuned in and got to see it. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, thinking my pinball streams in November are gonna be sports themed, oddly enough. I'll have to talk it over with the arcade owner. But stay tuned for Louie's Mansion, Louie's Big House number three on this Thursday. Pib's gonna be streaming that. And I unfortunately will miss it, but I hope you guys don't. That's all for me. Good night, everyone.